All right, hello YouTube. Uh, was up pretty late last night. Made a marked number of improvements. First and foremost is I reinforced the uh, bar in between the uh, Hobie outrigger kit there. So the other one was flimsy and thin and I replaced it with a piece of uh, one inch inner diameter, uh, 120 thick uh, aluminum piping. So at least that much is uh, is stout as a fucking steel shit house. So that works out good in my favor, I think. Uh, secondly, uh, the tank here, my uh, Hobie XL live well, I had the uh, infamous switch failure, so I went on ahead and bypassed the switch entirely, so this isn't hooked up anymore. The reed switch is completely out of the circuit. Uh, diagnosed it this morning, and uh, I have everything ready, so all I have to do is literally plug in the battery, and then I have my live well working. So it's late in the day. You know, I'm going to try to get some fishing done anyway. It's like 10 o'clock, so fuck it. Um, also, you'll notice that I have um, my Torquedo removed from the back. I came to the conclusion that it's just safer to stow it in the truck on drives. But there are some improvements that I made. Um, you'll notice that there are a couple of blocks here sitting on the side of the boat. Well, what this is for, this line right here goes around the back of the... Goes around the back of the Torquedo and it makes a reverse lock, right? The problem I had before was you drive forward and the prop would, <coughs> sorry, the prop would pop out of the water every time you came to a stop, right? Because a uh, nurse is carrying the boat along, but the outboard is still in the water. Well, when that happens, for a split second you lose control, the rudder doesn't respond or anything. So what I did is this cable right here goes around the back of the motor and it pins it in the down position so you don't have just gravity anymore holding the thing down and to make sure that it had enough force to keep it in the down position once pulled tight there are a set of two blocks here and this pulley right here and what happens is is when you pull on this um, this line and this line and even this little portion going behind here that multiplies the amount of force that you are putting into this line right here it multiplies it by three times the force so if I'm pulling on it with 20 pounds you have an effective 60 pounds of force here to hold the motor down so I tested that last night it works pretty good we'll see also I didn't make any big changes to steering like I wanted to frankly I didn't have time so what I did is I just put this little extension lever on top of the steer tiller and I'm hoping that'll give me enough torque to better steer the uh, motor with so we'll see how that works hopefully I don't tear up the uh, drive I mean I don't tear up the tiller components inside by over torquing them so we'll see I'll be gentle with it um, gonna try it out on the water today I'll have you guys a video then um, Otherwise, uh, fishing conditions sound good. I'm going to go out there with some artificials. I might take some uh, dead bait with me, cut bait or something. And uh, thinking about, I don't know, maybe going to Port Aransas. I don't know, I have no fucking clue. Uh, probably just go to Free Porch closer. Uh, otherwise, folks, uh, go ahead and enjoy your day. I'll see you later.